Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to edit content on your WordPress website using the Divi page builder. So when you log into your admin area, you land on your dashboard. What you want to do is head over to pages, all pages. Then you'll see a list of all the pages on your website. So say for example, you want to edit this page here, opening hours. You can click on the title of the page or you can click on edit. So let's go in there. Now the page builder usually takes a second or two to load, but there we are, the Divi page builder. So what you're looking at here is a, a sort of a graphical representation of what's on the page. So there's text and there's something called calendar. Now if we jump out of here for a second, just view what this looks like on the live site by going up here to view page. You can see that um, here's a text area and here's the calendar. Pretty basic. So if we jump back to edit page, Now say we wanted to uh, go in here and edit some of the text. So these two gray bars, you can see they've got th three icons on them. One of them, the X, obviously removes that text area. This one here with the two little, little rectangles, that's a clone module. Say if you wanted to just duplicate that area exactly like it is. But the main one you'll use here is module settings. So what you want to do is click on that. Now that'll bring up a a window here, the first two options, text color and text orientation, usually set to what, what works best for the website. You usually don't need to look at that uh, if you're making basic changes. And here is a, a text editor area, like a stripped back version of Microsoft Word. And there's that text we could see on the left of the web page. So if you want to make any changes in here, say there was a typo or you, you know you want to add a link or something like that, you basically, you just click in there and you can make changes as you need to. Once you're finished, most importantly, you have to hit save and exit. And then once that's done, move over to the right of the screen, you'll see update. And that will just save any changes and publish them to the live page. The page will refresh. You will see this message up here, page updated, view page. Now that view page link is just the same as clicking on the view page link up there. And that'll take you back to your site and you'll be able to see the change you've just made. That's all there is to it.